What is up, everybody? It is PB and J playing a new mod. Well, not a new mod. It's kind of old, but this mod is called Protect the King. And I was playing it kind of a lot last night, just for just for funsies, because you know, it's a it's a fun mod. Once you start playing it, you're just like, oh my god, this is actually really cool. But um, so I'll tell you a little bit about the mod. Uh, this mod is called Protect the King. It's kind of like Infection, and it's kind of like Gun Game, put together at the same time. So, basically, you start out as Protectors, and it randomly picks one king, and you have to pretty much protect the king. And uh, the other side, the zombies, or the ninjas, as it is in this mod, have sniper rifles, and they try to kill the king. And if you die by the ninjas, you become infected, or you become ninjas, and you try to kill the king. So, pretty much the goal is, the king tries to stay alive for wh however long it is. I think it's like five or six minutes, and uh, the ninjas try to kill you. And there's a ninja right there. And as you can see, once I get a kill with the pistol, it's like a mini gun game. And you just keep kind of cycling through the weapons and getting better guns each time. And, uh... Once the scope hits you, normally, you go into last stand as a guard, just, and people can revive you. Just like that. And I got done. Done already! So I am now a ninja, and you will see me spawn as a scope, and I will try to kill the king as well. Which is which is kind of nice. I, I I like the mod. It, it's kind of fun. It's just just a fun mod. Just protect the king. It's better than getting bored playing team deathmatch all day. And here's the king right here. See him with the motion sensor on his head. He has a lot of health. So I hit him like four times in the back, and he doesn't die because I had nobody helping me. Which was bullshit. I was I, I was so mad when that happened. I'm like. What the fuck? Come on. Like, I was so pissed. He was, he was literally, like, I think the king has, like, 550 health. And I hit him four times, so he, he was, he was really one-shotted. And, uh, but that, but the king's health regens, so. So he's full health again. And everybody knows that I'm not the best scope in the world. And I, I like how they, if you notice, the scope has no sway. You don't have to hold your breath, which is pretty nice. But I kind of hate how when they go in last stand after you shoot them. Because the hitbox is so terrible in last stand. You will shoot your scope right through them and they won't die in last stand because the hitbox is just awful. So that was the first round. The king got tomahawked. So... We're starting the new round, so as you can see, it randomly picks a ninja, and it randomly picks a king. And, I mean, you can even see on the minimap, the king has, a, you know, a little circle around him. And you're just, I mean, you're supposed to protect him, kind of run around and hang with him, but no one, no one gives a fuck. They're just like, I'm just gonna run around and get kills. And, you know, I think it's more fun that way. If you just ran around with the king, it'd be kind of gay. So, um, I go through the whole weapon cycle a few times, and you can see how, you'll see later on in the video, this video's gonna be a while, it's gonna be like a good 20 minutes, so that's why I'm doing this commentary, just because I know you guys like the kind of the, the longer gameplays, and especially mods like this, because, I don't know, I think commentators should do more fun stuff, like this, certain game types, or, I don't know, just just different things instead of just team deathmatch and I just got lucky right there he actually tagged me and I didn't go in last stand which is really lucky he, he must have hit me in the foot when I was jumping or something anyhow so right here is juggernaut and that helps a lot I'm gonna try to get that later in the game juggernaut makes it so you can it's, it's just like juggernaut and zombies or juggernaut and cod 4 you get more health so it 
it'll take more shots for you for them to down you, which is really nice. But it's also kind of overpowered because uh, once you get to the end of the cycle in the guns, you'll see it eventually. And I got tagged again. I'm so lucky. By the way, once you go through the full cycle of guns, it the game starts to get really gay, and you will see exactly why. Why? Why I get an insanely just high kill to death ratio, high score in this game. Because. Because the last gun is so overpowered, and it shouldn't really be like that. But, hey, I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe like a suggestion to the modder to maybe tweak and balance it a little bit. I'm gonna go grab Juggernaut right here. There we go. I got it. And I wasn't really. I mean, this is maybe like my first or second time playing. I've played the mod before, but this mod has been tweaked a little bit. Uh, the guard, he, as you can see at the the right hand side of the screen, it was first made by Ecorn. Oh, I don't think it says it now, but I know the mod has was originally made by Ecorn, who was the first one who was started to make CM mod, which is a version of Pro mod. So he's been making a few different mods. Um, so he made this mod, but it was actually tweaked a little bit by somebody else, and he called it his own, which is perfectly fine with that. I think he made it a little bit better. He made some things that were cool, but I think he still needs to tweak some things. But it's still fun to play in the server, just for the, just for the lulls. So, yeah, I haven't really been playing it that often, and I was trying to get, I was wondering, hey, maybe you can get Juggernaut, like, a few different times, like, more than once. So I'm not really sure. I don't think you can, but I think Juggernaut actually carries over to like rounds. Like if you got Juggernaut the first round, it'll carry the second round. Maybe not. I don't think it does, but it seems like it does. Which kind of pisses me off. As you can see there, like I wasn't hanging by the king, so the king died when we still had a lot of guards left. And that kind of like kind of sucks when that happens. Let me just tell you one thing. When I am the king in this game, when I get randomly picked, we win. I never die as the king. I don't see how anybody could die. How do you die as the king? So the king gets a gro The king has 550 health. That regens for one. For two, he gets a golden crossbow with unlimited ammo. Dual pythons with unlimited ammo, and uh, like another dual pistol with unlimited ammo. And here's the catch: when the king kills another ninja, that ninja becomes a guard again. So all the all the king has to do is run around and get kills, and he could, you know, potentially just kind of clutch it, which I've done many times. I've been the king, and I've been the last man standing, and I just run around fucking Indiana Jones style and just be like. I'd just bring it back. I'd be the only one left versus 23 ninjas because it's a 24 slot server. One versus 23 and I would kill everybody and I'd bring it back and I'd bring 10 more people back on my side. It's just so easy. I don't get how anybody could die unless you just get unlucky and you get tomahawked by two people at the same exact time because one tomahawk doesn't kill you because you have so much health and it regens. That is that is the, probably the most overpowered thing. Maybe the health, the health should not regen as the king. You should have a lot of health, maybe maybe 550 health as it is, it's fine, but it should not regen. Maybe a little bit more health because it gets harder. But also I would probably suggest with this mod, I like how if the king kills you as a ninja, the ninja actually spawns back in as a guard, but I don't think it should be every single time because it's too easy. I'm gonna die again going for Juggernaut, by the way. That's just, if you've been, like, noticing, I've been running to Juggernaut to get it the, like, the past three times I've died, which kind of pisses me off, because I have, like, Juggernaut, if you get Juggernaut, you're pretty much not gonna die, unless you just get really unlucky. But you can take hits for days and not die with Juggernaut, so. I don't know, maybe tone down the Juggernaut a little bit, just because it is kind of easy when you have it. But, whatever, I didn't make the mod. And it's still fun to play. But, these are just my suggestions. But, probably not going to get implemented, but, whatever. I gotta get Jack. Zacky just got Juggernaut. I hit him twice. I don't know why I can't get him. I scoped him. Then he finally goes down. I was playing with Zacky and a few other people. All in the events, so. We are having a good old time. Oh, and you just heard the secret weapon at the very end. 
You'll see it later in the gameplay. It actually uh, separates into two videos on theater for some reason. It, this is like a 16 minute video and then uh, I'll have to end it and you'll see the second half or the there's like another five minutes afterwards and you'll see that I hate when I tag people too just like that I tag people they go down someone else steals the kill but whatever I ain't complaining I didn't even notice I was a ninja there's 20 ninjas and one guards the last man standing is the king and he's wait no I guess that thing on the bottom of my screen is wrong. There's the king. What a fucking loser. So he killed me and I spawned in as a guard and I, I didn't even notice. I was like, what the fuck? I'm a guard? I didn't realize that until just now. When, like, because, you know, I haven't really played this in a while. But I think we play, uh, it's first to four still, just like any other search and destroy game type. So uh, I think this isn't the last round. I think we play another good round I think this is the round that I actually cycle through all the weapons and you will see how overpowered the last gun is and it's just it makes it kind of not fun because when good people as myself play this game along with other people as assassin as you just saw right there and Zaki we're all playing and we're all decent players at this game when we all like are doing good it, it's it's dumb it this mod gets way too easy so and you'll you'll see exactly what I mean. It's pretty crazy. So I'm running around with my dual pythons right now. I'm actually using my friend Arsenal's config, so all my controls are messed up. But I changed a little bit of them. So you get C, you get C4, which I never use because I don't know why I never use it. But I've seen people get lots of kills with them before. And the one thing I hate about that, like running around trying to find the first the first ninja is like I can never find the first ninja he always pisses me off I just run around for days and days and days and uh, I can never find him like you'll, you'll be running around and there's like two zo there'll be like running around and there's like already everyone's dying and there's like fucking 15 ninjas already and there's like six guards left you're like what the fuck we're like about to lose already and I haven't even seen one zombie yet and it pisses me off when that happens too oh yeah yeah when you want to actually revive the people sometimes you'd be like just let them fucking die like just so there'll be more ninjas to kill but when you revive somebody you get a kill streak actually I think if you revive two people you get a kill streak I think if you revive two people you get a napalm strike if you revive three people you get a rolling thunder and if you revive like four or five people you get dogs or some shit like that which like I never re really revive people and if I mean I do if they're like die if they died like right fucking next to me but I mean if they're all the way across the map of course you're not gonna get the revive which I never get kill streaks I think I, I got a napalm once and I got like two kills with it and there's a guy I'm gonna go try to revive him I'm gonna get him Oh, no, I'm not going to get him. That guy jacked my revive, that asshole. And I got tagged again. Actually, I think I have Juggernaut, so that's why I didn't go down. So, um, I'm cycling through the weapons. As you can see, I have an AK right now. I think I only need a few more guns. I'm on the assault rifles, so you will see me cycle through every single gun in the game. I think I already got Juggernaut. I'm not sure. What, what is my... Oh, I'm getting it right now, I think. I'm being very cautious because I've died every single time going to Juggernaut. So I'm like, alright. I'm not really sure if I got it or not. So I got my FAMAS. I think there's only a few more assault rifles. And we're good. G11. And I think this might be the last gun. Did I go through the commando? I think I did. So I think this is the last gun. And you can already hear it. If you haven't guessed, it is a death machine. And look at him just doing work. Zaki is the first one that gets it. So if you get the death machine and juggernaut, it's over. You're not dying. You're never dying. It's just, it's too easy from that point on. So I'm going to get this last kill. Right there. Death machine. Game over. And then I just, I don't die. I just start racking up the kills. And you get, like, look how much ammo you get in the death machine. Look how much. A thousand. A thousand bullets. Which is too ridiculous. 
so I'm just running around with the death machine, not even worrying about, I'm just racking up kills, and that's when it starts getting kind of gay, you just kind of run around, and you're just like, alright, fucking rolled, raped, 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 they don't even have a chance, even if they shoot you once, they're not going to kill you because they have Juggernaut, even if they hit you twice, you're probably not going to get down because you have Juggernaut. Even if they hit you three times, you probably get downs, but somebody's probably going to revive you. And your health regens, so... I don't know. I think that's just way overpowered. We had like four people, all with death machines, all using Juggernaut, all protecting the king at the same time. So it's like, alright, that's when it starts getting kind of gay. Like, alright, really, bro? <laughs> and as you can see, Janky, A, on the bottom of the screen there, he has a Grim Reaper randomly you'll go into terminator mode this is just i don't know just an extra to the mod you'll go into terminator mode and you'll spawn with the grim reaper which is just as overpowered i mean if you run around with the grim reaper and juggernaut and you have unlimited ammo by the way with the grim reaper so you could just sit there and spam you could sit in a building where there's only one entrance and you could spam the grim reaper just shooting it over and over and over because you have unlimited ammo you don't even have to reload just spam it in the doorway and you will never die they will never get to you so i don't know just things um the unlimited ammo thing overpowered the juggernaut overpowered the death machine definitely overpowered and look at us look at everybody death machine death machine death machine look how many people have it it's like are you serious you guys are not winning if one person gets the death machine then you win <laughs> but like you'll just see me just run around just racking up the kills to see ya they haven't even hit me they don't even have a chance because the death machines like a one-hit kill anyway so that is coming up on the end of the round here actually like felt like it was over a five minute round oh yeah I'm reloading I reloaded the death machine oh is that the end is that the end I think it is yep okay I'm gonna have to go to the other half of the clip just bear with me for one second no, it was on Hanoi. Team Deathmatch, Hanoi. Yep. We have another 6 minutes and 33 seconds to go. If you can see the score, 95 and 5. Huh. Huh. It was a good time. It was my best game. Definitely uh, the highest score I've ever done. I've never seen anybody break over that many kills. But as you can see, the majority of the kills are just Death Machine anyway. So it's like, what the fuck? It's not even fun. I mean, it's fun running around, but, like, I don't know. Maybe you should, maybe they should make it so you just keep cycling through the guns or something. I don't know, but definitely not. Definitely take out the death machine. That is just, because, I mean, it pisses me off, because when I'm the ninja and someone has a death machine, it's like, why even try? Because, like, you're not going to kill them. Oh, it just makes the game really good. So... The death machines are still going at it right now. I'm just still racking up the kills from the round before, and there's the end of the game. And I don't die for the rest of the game. I go through the guns one more time and get the death machine, and that will be the end. And you can see me just rack up kills. And look how much time passes by on the bottom of the screen. It's 30 seconds in, and it's probably going to be another minute or so before I even see anybody and get a kill. Which kind of pissed me off. Pick a ninja, and it's going to pick a king. And off we go, starting off with the CZ-75. I kind of like how they did things with the maps, though. Uh, a whole bunch of, like, the random crates in the middle. I kind of like how they did that, so it's not just the default map like that. They kind of added some twists, made bridges like that from the bus to top uh, projector. And they made this little fort here out of the unwallable boxes, which I think is kind of cool. I mean... That's kind of where the king should be, if you think about it. But when I'm the king, I hate... This is another thing I hate about playing this mod. The king always sits in the same spot the whole game. He'll just sit in our spawn or in a building, and they won't move. It's And then, like, everybody notices, oh, wow, the king is just sitting there. So everybody just rushes that spot over and over, and he eventually dies. But when I'm the king, I run around, like... I don't even need anybody protecting me since I have so much health and it regens. So I just run around and I just get kills over and over. And, uh... Yeah. And I don't die. I just run around. I don't even need the crossbow. I'll use the crossbow for funsies, but, uh... 
I'll mainly just run around with a dual pythons because they're so like really overpowered and you have unlimited ammo with them anyway so I just run around with them and I don't die so I'm still running around with my pythons still trying to find a ninja I'm gonna get a kill right here done just moving on to the SMGs um, if you guys like this mod, it is, I forgot to say this, um, I don't want to give you guys the connect info, because obviously I play on the PC, so this mod is only for people on the PC, so everyone that plays console, I'm sorry, but you're not cool enough, I guess, to mod. <laughs> anyway, that'd be cool though, I mean, I, I would bet that anybody on the console would want to play a mod like this, because you guys are kind of screwed, you're stuck playing, uh, playing team deathmatch and all the gay game types all day when I'm having the time of my life playing mods like this I can play any mod I want everybody makes mods everybody you know I don't know it's it's fun playing mods it's a, definitely a good break from playing just unmodded black ops all day so you know oh actually that big crate right there that I just passed that is a random weapon you pay money well not money like your, your score every time you get a kill you get score plus 100 points or whatever and uh you get a new weapon and it, sometimes you get i don't i'm not actually i've never really gotten it before but uh zacky got it and he got a crossbow sometimes you get like a grim reaper i think but you know i don't really know i never really get it but maybe i'll just start getting it for fun get a new weapon so I'm racking up kills once more, We're moving on to the assault rifles, the AK-47, and I will be getting the Grim, I mean, the Death Machine with Juggernaut, really close here. Overall, fun mod, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so if you play on the PC, I'm not going to give you the connect info, because I don't know if this server's going to last forever. This is a dedicated server. So the server is always up, but I'm not sure, like, fucking, like, I don't know, a month from now, somebody sees this video and they want to play on the PC and they want to connect to the server and the connect info doesn't work anymore. I'm just going to say, you can download the mod at itsmods.com. I'll put a link in the description, I guess. And I have the death machine. Game over. And I'm just going to rack up kills from now on. Anyway, like I was saying, itsmods.com. This mod's called Protect the King. Actually, itsmods.com has like a shitload of mods, K like including the Ice Knight mod, Pro mod, mods like this, Protect the King, any mod that anybody's ever made is on that site, and uh, every any, anybody can download them, so, and you can even just host your own lobby, you don't even need a dedicated server, you can just host a private match, and uh, you can host it, but you know, a lot of people don't like when private matches I mean, when people just kind of host it from their own host. Because they ping, like, fucking 10, and everyone else pings, like, 100 on them. Or 150, which gives them an advantage. And people don't really like the connection. So people prefer a dedicated server. And I'm going to get Juggernaut. Uh, I think I already have it. So look, look how gay this is. I mean, like I said, one thing I would change is this death machine. Because it is just not fun. I mean, it's fun. I mean, it is fun. I mean, I admit, but it gets boring. I, I should say that. I mean, it's fun. I'm running around fucking everyone up. I'm like, ah, bonsai, raped, ah, you know, just kind of charging in there, knowing that you're not going to die and just racking up kills. But in reality, it's not fun at all. I mean, it just gets so boring. Game over. And the king died. How did the king die? Fucking stupid king. Huh. Uh, I don't know. But that'll be the end of the game, I think. That is the end. My final score is 95 and 5. If you notice, the deaths as your ninja don't count because it's way harder to get kills that way. Only when you die as a guard, it counts as your death. But final score, 95 and 5. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops videos, more mods such as these, or longer commentaries, please let me know. And I will be sure to post more of your suggestions. So... Catch you guys later. PB&J out. Peace.